Hello everyone out there, I am Winter Grape and today I am here recording another update. This is an update of uh, on my mob development uh, work that I have been doing. I have been developing as uh, well a few mods lately and uh, I really like and enjoy that and uh, I felt that, like it was time to to just uh, publish uh, a message or something on what I'm doing because I recently suddenly from nowhere I just felt the inspiration to continue the work on the World Explorer mod that uh, has been uh, I haven't been working on that in some time and that is just how it works uh, I do it when I feel like I want to do it because that that just gives me, gives me the inspiration so last time as I was here, um, well, a few things ha uh, have changed. Uh, for instance, this the study desk now has a, a nice model. It it looks really cool like this. You can see the book uh, there and the chest down there, and you can interact with all this. So um, yeah, you can see on my inventory a few things that have changed. Uh, I have uh, okay, so far. The mod is still work in progress, but I stabilized a lot of things that were crashing and not working well on uh, multiplayer. So uh, I fixed I fixed uh, some multiplayer issues and rendering issues, and now it can safely be used on the on on multiplayer without having those weird things going on. Mostly on rendering stuff and uh, uh, things not keeping the name. For example, the journal. Now it has the name, uh, alright, so the journal will keep my name even though if I give it to another player it would remain my name. It, it, it still doesn't have a lot of uh, functionality I want on this, but uh, it works like that. And oh yeah, this is another thing I'm working on, this is work in progress. This is going to be the explorer's equipment area where I can put some equipment things here, for example a quiver, or an, uh, uh, one of these bags I can carry with me for extra things and something on my belt and my boots on I, I don't know if I'm going to keep the head where here maybe I'm gonna remove that but uh, that's gonna work and quivers is, are gonna be important because uh, yeah we have some types of arrows <laughs> here uh, okay the boomerang I think is something I have already shown it hasn't changed because it doesn't need uh, it. It works really great as it is right now. I think it's one of the best things that are working on this mod currently. Um, and uh, yeah, I, it, that is because I really enjoyed the development of this uh, uh, item or weapon or equipment. So one of the things, for example, I have been working on lately is the longbow. And, and all the ranged weapon, weapons, actually I'm going to use the slingshot uh, because I implemented the zoom uh, while aiming, for example you can look at this oh it looks so nice uh, I didn't know how to do this and uh, then uh, I discovered some piece of code um, there on the internet I guess it was based on the Tinker's construct, I don't know but uh, I could uh, understand how this works and how I could implement zoom on ranged weapons. So you can see with the slingshot I can zoom really fast because this is a fast weapon. I can shoot really fast and um, and and uh, it does small damage but I can use, I can shoot fast. The longbow takes longer but it's stronger now you can see I have all these arrows with me so which one I'm going to take first well I'm going to use the the arrow first on this lot here you can see I have sharpened sticks, uh, stone tip arrows, flint tip arrows, iron tip arrows diamond tip arrows and obsidian tip arrows the recipes for this don't make, doesn't make sense because you use an obsidian block for just one uh, arrow but um, I'm gonna solve that later so, if I have the sharpened stick first here, this is the one it's gonna take. <coughs> but, but if I remove that and I put the flint here on the on on the next slot uh, available, it's gonna take that one. You can see the flint, and you can see the arrow pulling back. That that is something I I, I wish I could. Let's see. 
yeah, it looks like it looks really cool. Uh, it looks it looks really cool in multiplayer too. I have tested that, and uh, this is the order it follows. And here on the inventory, it follows this order. So if I put this uh, diamond arrow here and the ro the other arrows here, it's gonna take the diamond arrow because it's the first one on this order. Once I implement the quivers, there we go. It's the diamond arrow. Once I implement the quivers, um, it's going to take the. Uh, I'm going to use the quivers for choosing that. So uh, let's see. Is all these arrows any other victim? Let's see that chip nailed. <laughs> it's really powerful. So um, the same works for the crossbow. Uh, the crossbow needs to. Im uh, I need to implement uh, more functionality on the crossbow right now because, uh, as it is uh, right now, it works like a bow. I just aim and shoot, and I don't want it to do that. I wanted to charge and then shoot the bolt. Uh, so the crossbow is really powerful too. Uh, I wanted like to charge it, and then you can just click and shoot it. Uh, it, it's gonna consume a rose in the same way as the longbow and also it's gonna be um, able to use the quivers so uh, the model is really cool you can see how it pulls the string back and uh, if, if you see it on third person you can see that too oh that oh that's correct that's great I like how that works it, it works really fine ah uh, and you can also use normal arrows um, if I put this here, it's gonna consume normal arrows like that. So normal arrows will also work. Uh, one other thing I fixed is the rendering of the blowpipe on multiplayer. This one uses uh, uses darts. Uh, I I I'm going to implement different effects on darts like poison. Uh, I don't know nausea. Uh, and all those kind of effects you can have, I'm going to implement them on, on the darts so you can play with your friends and poison them or or give them nausea or uh, all those kind of nasty things. I have been killing all the animals of the area for testing all these weapons. So this is going to be a desert area uh, soon. So the dart doesn't cause that much damage, but with the effects it's going to be a powerful um, thing to do and uh, different darts will be um, will cause different things so I guess that's it for now uh, this is this is all I have uh, uh, right now I I'm going to keep working on this uh, really actively maybe on the next couple of weeks this is going to be a complete thing to um, to use to play with uh, and uh, uh, so you can have fun with it. My plan is to finish all I can finish on 1.7 so I can start doing this on 1.8 because I'm going to port this mod to 1.8 and um, it's gonna be awesome. I, I already started doing it. Uh, I'm, I plan to do something on terrain generation for 1.8 because I have getting a lot of experience on that area on terrain generation uh, and I want to work on that so uh, it's gonna include that and uh, that's it for now uh, so I uh, thank you for s watching this update video and I hope to see you on uh, an upcoming one so thank you again <laughs> I don't know I, I'm just trying to say goodbye here and I can't but yeah goodbye everyone may you all be well